The Directorate of Social and Human Development looks at harmonization of policies on education, health, as well as other areas affecting skills and welfare of the Southern African community. The aim is to create a pool of qualified professionals who can drive the region's integration agenda. Director Dudusile Similane says the Directorate has seen major successes both in its long and short-term planning levels. These include the opening of 32 roadside HIV AIDS wellness centers across member states and the availability of ARVs to HIV AIDS patients across the region. UN and UNAIDS in particular, as we know, is, is, is the leading agency on, on HIV and set, and, and set the, 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 the targets for member states or countries, member country, UN member countries to implement. So we have made the effort to develop that scorecard so that member states are also able to track their own um, national progress in terms of those targets, but also the regional targets. She stresses that collaboration with partners like UNAIDS has led to the development of scorecard that will help member countries monitor their success in fighting AIDS. Similani further says UNAIDS investment framework will help member countries to contribute to funding HIV AIDS programs when donors withdraw. In term, if we want to sustain the, the, epi, the, the response in the epidemic, there, there needs to be contributions by the member states, by the countries themselves, to own the response in the event that um, uh, inter, international cooperating partner uh, funding architecture changes, as we have begun to see that uh, in the U.S. government, for instance, there, there are declines in terms of what is being allocated to health, but also to HIV. Director Dudu Sile Semalani says the malaria elimination aid, including South Africa and Namibia, are on track to eradicate the disease. However, she says Angola, Mozambique, Zambia and Zimbabwe are also making progress.